Hi, in this video we're going to practice writing a few more programs with arrays, getting used to looping through an array or iterating through an array because it's something that's really, really common. So the first program we'll do is we'll write a program that flips a coin, num flips times, and we put the results into an array, and then we'll print that array. So we'll, we'll, this program is big enough that we'll break it down into functions, so we'll say there flips equals flip coins and then we'll say print array flips okay so that's the program we're going to write so let's write our function uh, flip coins and our function print array okay so let's write print array quickly because we did that last time so that's for var i is zero i is less than error dot length i plus plus and now we'll print line they are oh bye okay so now let's write flip coins so we say this function should flip a coin uh, num flips times and add the result to an array we return the result to the caller so let's make our array we'll call it flip coins or we'll call it flips and now we'll sit we'll use a for loop we'll say for var i is zero i is less than num flips i plus plus so let's let's flip a coin so we'll use our randomizer so we'll say um, if randomizer dot next boolean then we'll call that head, say, so we'll say flips.push heads. And otherwise, there's only two cases, we'll say flips.push tails. Alrighty, so this is it. Almost. We have one last thing to do, which is return flips. So let's run this program. And there you have it. This is a random sequence of coin flips. And if we want, we could also print out the index just to see what that would look like. So there you go. Very cool. All right, we'll write one more program. So if you remember, we wrote a program called Crazy Ball where we had a colored circle moving all over the screen. Now we're going to write that program with many crazy balls because we have arrays. So first, uh, the first thing we'll do is we want to create our circles. Okay, so we'll say function create circles. And the next thing we want to do is we want to set a timer, and we'll call a function called go crazy every we'll see delay how many milliseconds is that going to be a hundred so this is the outline of our program we're going to create some circles and then we'll every so often have the the circles go to a new position and change colors so the other function is called go crazy okay so we're going to want uh, to have a list to, to store these circles that we're using and we'll put that up here as a global variable because we want to have that be accessible in different functions. So let's write create circles. So we'll say for var i equals zero, i is less than num circles, i plus plus. Okay, well, let's make a new circle that has this radius. Um, and then, what do we want to do? We want to push circle. So we want to say circles dot push circle. Okay, we want to add it to our list so we can keep track of it. And we also want to add it to the screen. Um, so we'll leave this for now. We'll run it. We'll see that we just have a bunch of circles in the corner. So we're on our way. So 
and go crazy what we want to do is we want to have all the circles uh, move to a new location and change colors so we'll say for var i equals zero we want to loop over all of our circles say i is less than circles dot length i plus plus so what we want to do is we really want to update we want to update the circle and which circle we want to update circles at position i. So we want to we want to handle one circle at a time. So we'll say function update circle. And now we can break the problem of moving every circle into the problem of just thinking about one circle. So what do we want to do? Well, we want to set its position to a random position. So we'll say uh, let's say x. We want the x position to be well, we want it to be an integer from, well, what's the smallest it can be? It can be radius to get width minus radius. Uh, we want the y position to be an integer from radius to get height minus radius. And then we want to set the color, we want to get a color, um, but first let's set the position. So we say circle.setPosition xy and then we can say circle.setColor randomizer.nextColor. Okay, so let's see what happens when I run this. Whoa, we have a crazy program happening. Let's change a few constants. Uh, the delay, let's make that 100. Still very fun. And what we actually, one last thing we want to do is we want to call update circle here just so they all start in the proper uh, configuration. So there you have it. Now we have many crazy balls going. And you know, feel free, obviously, to change the number of circles, let's say to 20. Let's see what happens here which is crazy, or, you know, just a three. Um, so yeah, there you have it. There's a few more examples using lists and practicing iterating over a list.